So you've got an itchy bottom. Well, you've come to the right place because in this video, we're going to cover six potential causes, some potential treatment options, and finally, three really important things that you can do at home. So having an itchy bottom actually has a medical name, which is pariatus ani. Pariatus being the medical term for itching and ani being the medical term for anus. So what causes pariatus ani? Well, first of all, let's start off with the most common cause. And in around 90% of cases, the symptoms arise because your poo stays in contact with the skin around your anus and causes irritation. Minor leaks of poo, passing wind, and not cleaning the area after opening your bowels properly can lead to an itchy bottom. Now, things like constipation, diarrhea, hemorrhoids, which are also known as piles, and skin tags can make the leakage of poo more likely and make the skin around your bottom harder to keep clean, which can make the irritation worse, as can over frequent and vigorous cleaning of the skin around the bottom. Now, there are less common causes of an itchy bottom, and we can take a look at five of these potential causes now. So the first are skin conditions around the anus, like psoriasis, eczema, thrush, which is caused by an overgrowth of a yeast, as well as fungal infections. The second cause of an itchy bottom are threadworms. Now, threadworms are a common cause of an itching bottom in children, and I've made a separate, more detailed video on this, and the itching is usually worse at night if it is caused by threadworms. Typically, in this case, you'll see tiny little white worms that look like little pieces of thread in the poo, and if you do notice this, it's important that you speak to your pharmacist who can offer over-the-counter treatment. Now, your itching bottom may also be due to an allergy to something in contact with the skin around your bottom. So, for example, fragrance in fragranced toilet paper, or to local anaesthetics or preservatives in creams that are used for piles, condoms, as well as lubricants. Now, the skin around your bottom is also very thin and sensitive, and it can easily be irritated by moist wipes, soaps, or perfumes. These may make the skin sore, and they can contribute to the sensation of your itching bottom. Finally, don't underestimate sweating as a cause. The skin around the bottom is often moist with sweat. If lengthy periods pass without ventilation to the area, so for example, you sit down for a long time or you're wearing tight underwear, the skin can become more irritated as well as itchier. So now we've discussed some of these potential causes, well, what might your bottom look like if you are itching a lot? Well, the skin around your bottom might look inflamed, thickened, and show scratch marks, especially if you've been scratching at the area. You might also develop breaks in the skin, and the medical term for this is fissures. These can feel really painful and they can bleed, and this makes it really uncomfortable when you go to the toilet to poo. Now, if this is causing you problems, again, it's important that you speak to your pharmacist in the first instance, who might be able to offer you some treatment options to try. And if it doesn't clear up despite this, then you should consider seeing your own doctor. So now we've covered some of the potential causes as well as symptoms, let's discuss some treatment options as well as what you can do at home to try and relieve your symptoms. Now, because there are so many different causes of an itchy bottom that we've already discussed, there's no one treatment that can cure all the causes. And it's really important that you get the correct diagnosis to find out what the underlying cause is to ensure that you get the right treatment. Now, what I mean by this is, for example, if your itchy bottom is being caused by sweating, the treatment is obviously going to be very different to that caused if your itchy bottom is due to constipation or threadworms, for example. Now, in general terms, there are some creams that can be used to help treat the symptoms of an itchy bottom. Now, whilst these won't necessarily cure the underlying cause, they can help provide some temporary relief of the symptoms. Now, the creams that your health provider might suggest are soothing creams, which contain a substance called zinc oxide. You might also want to try regular application of a moisturizing ointment or cream, especially after you've gone to the toilet to poo. Another option is a short course of a steroid ointment or a cream, which can be applied to the area to reduce the itching. This can be used as and when needed if the itching bottom comes back. Finally, some creams that treat piles can also be used to help reduce the itching. And if your healthcare provider suggests that you have a rarer cause of an itchy bottom, they might suggest other creams or tablets or medicines. Now, the good news beyond this is that there are also three general things that you can try doing yourself at home to make your symptoms better. First, it's important to have regular bowel movements where your poo is soft but not runny, and it's really important to avoid constipation or diarrhea. To help with this, I'd advise that you drink plenty of water and that your diet contains fiber-rich foods, so things like fruit, vegetables, bran, oats, and nuts. 
Now, if you feel that certain foods are making your symptoms of an itchy bottom worse, then I would suggest it's best to avoid them. Now, some people find that coffee, pop or soda, as well as chocolate and beer can make their bowel movements worse. If this is the case, I'd probably suggest that you keep a diary of what you eat and of your symptoms over a three to four week period to see if avoiding some of these foods or drinks can make a difference. Now, if you carry on being constipated or continue to have changes in your bowel habits, despite this, you should see your doctor. Now, the second thing that you can do at home is that after you've been to the toilet, gently clean your bottom with lukewarm water and pat it dry with a soft towel. Ideally to do this, you should use a shower or a bidet and avoid rubbing the area or leaving any soap or toilet tissue in contact with the skin, which is just going to irritate it. Finally, it's really important to avoid irritating or scratching your bottom. I'd advise that you avoid using moist wipes, deodorants, disinfectants, talcum powder, or any other perfume products, and that's because they're too harsh for the delicate skin around your bottom. You should also try keeping your fingernails short, wear loose cotton underwear, and you can sleep without clothes to ensure that fresh air is getting to this area. Now, if you've had an itchy bottom in the past or you found something that's worked for you, please do post this in the comment section of this video to help others that are watching this video. We've got a really nice community that's forming on the channel and people are often able to find recommended treatments in the comment section of the videos. Please also consider subscribing to the channel for weekly medical education videos to help you lead a healthier life. And if you do have any concerns or problems around your itching bottom, always go see your own health provider who'll be more than happy to see you. Thanks for watching and until next time, bye.